the moment that you threw yourself at him? Are you still believing those lies? Of course I am. Oh, please, look. I don't blame Clayton for looking at me. I mean, I am closer to his age than you are. He listened to every little fucking slut. I don't know who you fucked to get to where you are. Go but ahead. Today. So grab your rainbow shot. Go ahead. And your easy pick. Get trinkets. And get, get the fuck. Pockets. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not going no damn way inside Jabril tells oh, me. Oh, when so. I'm done talking to him, he will. He will. Look at you, Bob. Mm. I actually love seeing you this way. All flushed, little upset. Is it because you see something in me that you used to see in yourself? I mean, beautiful, desirable, eggs still ovulating. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since you've died, I've allowed you to disrespect me. Undermine my authority. Subliminally call me unattractive and kiss my ass. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. Go ahead. You wear nothing made for me for me, you, and everybody else in this office building. Your, Your body, body is shaped like a 12 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, honey. I've seen classier, more attractive women outside picking through the trash. Is that right? Yes, yeah, right. Well, I've been called worse by better. Hmm. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, Clayton only sees pity in you. Oh, oh no. Well, what you expect to do? Slap me? I wouldn't waste my time on a miserable, unemployed bitch like you. I wish you would have. <laughs> because this whole company would have been mine if you did. You know what? Take your cheap ass back. Get, get, get the, the fuck out. And don't forget your box. Bye, bitch. <laughs> now! <laughs> don't believe it. It's probably not some old married motherfucker. She don't want to know. Don't believe that shit. Don't believe it. Fallon, you fucking lying, two faced, scheming, narcissistic bitch. Mm. Why don't you tell your mother the truth? Mm. Tell him how you fucking paid Eve oh. to hide JJ from him. All tea, all shade. What is he talking about? I don't know. It's true, Fallon. And you knew that JJ was in Easton. You knew the whole time. Just tell the truth. Fallon, I need you to. I. What the hell is going on? The feeling is mutual, Fallon. Big ass fucking elephant. Just tell the truth. Big elephant. Oh my god. Jabril, I'm so sorry. I, I can't. I see what I thought was best. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so sorry. Best? What do you mean, best? You kept a child from me? What? Fallon, <laughs> this is a, all I'm sorry. a new low for you. It gets worse. But Victor has JJ. No one knows what, what he did with what? him. Oh, you knew Victor had the child? <laughs> Mm. Bring her my feelings. So 
sorry I didn't send you the forwarding address. You see, the new building I'm staying in doesn't allow animals in the fucking village. Go ahead, there. Oh, there, but you don't have to worry. I'm housebroken. Why didn't you return my phone calls, Derek? Thought about calling you. you know, Go ahead. I just didn't feel like hearing your bitch ass. Go ahead. Threats, you know. You better come that through. That shit gets old after a while, oh, don't you, Derek? You hurt my feelings. I guess all that dick robbing slide made you a tough guy, huh? I don't like you like this. Tell him I said thank you. Is is Robert around? <laughs> it's none of your damn business, is it? I'll take that as a no, Derek. So I guess it's just me and you. Stop. Stop fucking playing with me. Or you'll be bloody on the cement. You're not stupid. Oh, I'm not. Not at all. You don't want to lose my freedom? It's going to be for gutting your ass out. Go. The that you are, bitch. Go ahead. Derek, you trying I wasn't a good fool, but you just fucked that up. I don't want you to fucking think that just because I haven't come to collect that I forgot Derek. Okay? Here's my son. You came here to see your son. That's right. Get out my house. Sammy. Get out my house. You played enough games with everybody. Get out of my house. Sammy. You, you trying to fuck my shit. whole bridal party. Oh. Even Jimmy. Mm. Chris, you knew I didn't want to get married. And you knew damn well I wasn't ready for no fucking kids. I told you that. So surprise. I'm back. So if you wasn't ready then, motherfucker, don't be ready now. Go ahead. Go, Sammy. Go, girl. Go ahead. My son, is he here? There's a lot going on that obviously you don't know. Like what, Sammy? What do you think? Is like your child what? still running around in the pull-up? Oh, get the fuck out of my I'm house. Not, I'm not leaving. Get out of my house. I'm, I'm asking you to get out of my house. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. I'm not coming here for this. I'm going to call the police. Why did you come here? But why did you come here? You're my son. Yo, get the fuck out of my house. I thought you probably brainwashed me and told me a whole bunch of shit. I didn't have to tell him shit. Your accents told him, told him child everything. Listen, get out of my house. I'm asking you to leave nicely before I call the police. Get out my house. Go ahead. Get out my house. Go ahead. Get the fuck out my house. Go ahead. I don't want to know shit. Go ahead. I want to see my son. And the next time you come back, mm. you're going to end up on, I'm going to end up on the first 48 because I'm going to kill you. Get mm. the fuck out my house. Three. I don't play mother and father while you do bullshit. Get the fuck out my house. Ooh. Yeah, get, just go ahead. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> you have been pushing all along. Now it's a problem. Get the fuck out my yeah, house. I'll be back. Get the fuck out my house. I want to see my son. So be okay. Ready. Okay. It's going to be the last time you see me, boo. Okay. It's going to be the last time. Tell your story, boy. Get the fuck out my house. Muscle bound bitch. Get the fuck out my house. Damn. You fucking deadbeat son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Good bitch. shade. Yeah. Back, so we'll fucking soul train, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Mm. You will never guess who just left my house. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Get those dead meat ass fathers came. Oh my god. going on youtube this is forever branded tv guys this is the second leg review of one of my favorite outstanding most outrageous groundbreaking web series of all time i just don't understand why the hell this show is not mainstream guys i can go on and on and on I don't know how long this review is going to be, but this is the end of Triangle Season 2. Guys, after watching this episode, I am undone. I just don't know. Oh my God, I just... I got so much words. I don't know where to start. I guess I can start off from when... Oh, where do I start? It's so much tea. It's so much tea on this show. The triangles get better and better and better and better and better. Now, when I did the first leg review, 
I introduced Raven and Jarrell. And, you know, we found out more about, uh, we, we, we finally met Fallon's father. And we, we learned a little bit more about Tessa. And, but, but, but guys, it's just so much after we learn about Jabril having a brother, Jabril finally meeting his mother. And, you know, it just goes, it's just so much other stuff after this. So we, we get into Victoria. Okay, now one of the things that I, 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 I gotta say that I did not like about this show, okay, I just, I don't like, when, like, like I said before, I do not like to see family going against family. But at the same time, okay, I don't know if <sighs> Aunt Vicky had, I guess we'll start with Aunt Vicky and, and Victor because it's just so much. My Brother's Keeper. Let's start with that episode. I think that's a little bit after. So, on My Brother's Keeper, you know, we finally have found out. Well, a little bit before My Brother's Keeper. We finally had Fallon, you know, as you know, cut Winston out of her life. You know, um, and then on My Brother's Keeper, okay, we finally seen that Clayton and Winston are brothers. Okay, we learned a little bit more about... Uh, I don't remember what episode it was, but we found out a little bit more about Clayton's and Winston's backstory on this season. You know, this is where we get deep into Winston's life story. You know, it, we get deep into everyone's life story, but I just, did, did, did my brother's keepers episode had me in tears, okay? Uh, the end of the episode... Aunt Vicky killed Victor. Now, I did not like that. I was just so not for that scene. Because I just don't like... Like, that is just totally against... I just did... That just really, really... I just did not like that. I was just like, what, what the hell is going on? Like, I, I, I didn't know... I, that was just too serious for me. Okay, I, I don't know if Aunt Vicky had her reasons for killing Victor. Even though Victor wasn't my favorite person. But... I just did not like that scene on that episode. That was just, just too much. Okay, I just think that they, this is my honest opinion, I think that they should have just never did that because that's not no, that's not a good sign. And I hope I'm not coming off kind of, I just, maybe she had really did have her reasons for killing Victor, but that was just the most hurtfulest episode I ever seen in my life. She took her own brother's life. We know it ain't real, but I'm just talking shit. Okay? But still, I just, I just didn't know. I, I would not know what to deal with a situation like that if it was somebody in my family and my sister killed my brother. You know? You know what I'm saying? I just don't think that that was appropriate. Okay? That, that was just a little too um over the boundary for me. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to domino effect because that was one of my favorite episodes okay maybe that was before was that before my brother's keeper i'm trying to remember because i love one thing i did love about season two was the episode titles okay you know you had domino effect crescendo and, and let me see if i can remember some of them uh disclosure then you had uh, just, just, just every every last one of these episodes tied up to the titles of the episodes. Um, it's just like it's just so the the triangle became like I said before the triangle became a octagon. You know, it's not even a triangle anymore. I mean, it is still a triangle going on. It's more triangles going on now, bitch. This really got me fucking talking. Okay, we 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 finna skip to domino effect. Domino effect. Was the most craziest episode. I'm going to tell you what I loved about Domino Effect. Domino Effect was so realistic. Because it was in the slums. As Fallon said. On uh, 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 on the episode. She was like. I, I can't. You know. They was getting ready for Brandon and Jabril's engagement party. Which turned out to be horrible. Okay. That was one of. This is just one of my favorite episodes. Because it was so realistic. Let me say what was realistic about this. They were in front of. The the slum village of Easton, okay? Now, you had people, you had pedestrians outside. You had people, you know, just sitting on their porches. And a lot of people probably didn't know that... That, that, that they were shooting a video footage. You know, you probably didn't... I, I, I'm not sure... I'm, I'm sure people actually really thought that... 
that 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 well, I'm gonna tell you what's so realistic about it because the arguments were fake, but they seemed like real life actual events. You know, you had two different people going against each other. You know, when Fallon had um when when everything broke loose, when Brandon had found that that uh Mason knew about Eve's child, and then he found that that Jabril was the was the father you know uh everything was all hell broke loose Fallon and Mason was arguing you know Raven came to the to the engagement party with Jarrell and but what was realistic about this episode was when they went outside a lot of people was shocked a lot of people was putting out their phones you know you seen people on the side putting out their phones thinking that this was this was a real life thing that was happening but it was all acting that's the that's the best part what i love about domino effect okay i'm gonna tell you whose character i grown strongly strongly to love because they gave an amazing epic job the next episode after domino effect was uh what the hell was the name of that episode ah uh, um, the episode after Domino Effect, I can't remember the episode right now, but Derek Harrison went in on Clint, okay? Clint was trying to do all this, speaking of Clint, do she about Clint, baby? Oh, hell no! But anyway, y'all about to get me fucking start. Caesar and Will, I love y'all. Oh my, Caesar, Will, Carlos, and King. Oh my God, amazing show. You guys fucking did this shit. This is a fucking a hundred out of a hundred. I am just so. I just don't know what to. <sighs> Derek Harrison went the fuck off on Clint. Okay. And I just love that, you know, Derek's character really grown. He's grown strongly to be my favorite character. But this situation that's going on with him now, I don't think this is the right decision for him. Um, then, we, okay, then after that, okay, we'll skip into some of the heart toucher moments of this season. So Winston and Fallon finally, you know, uh, make amends. Okay, I'm glad that. You know, they finally accepted each other's apologies. Uh, one of the most outrageous episodes was when I seen Winston pulling up the gun to Clint, okay? Which I think he should have shot his nasty black... No, I'm playing, I'm playing. I think that he should have gunned him down, but that's just, the, that's just the dangerous in me. But I'm glad he didn't shoot Clint because, you know, it just would have made situations more worse, okay? Now, what, what, what what's tricky about Clint is this dude gets so much... So much tea uh, 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 that just really ties up triangle, okay? He got the most tea more than anybody, okay? So then after that, you know, we skip a little bit to more about Kiko. What Kiko does not know is, and maybe I'm skipping a little further than I should be, but what Kiko doesn't know now is that she has, that she doesn't know her father, but do she doesn't fucking know that Clint is her father. The, the recently departed Clint, who she has heard about on season one that was when Ashton and Kiko was friends. Okay, speaking of Ashton, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. I ain't got time for this. These bitches keep on slamming my black ass with this show. But anyway, um, Clint has the most secrets than anybody. Fallon, stuff that Fallon doesn't even know yet. Okay. And, uh, and, 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 oh, I'm just... I got so much passion for this show. It does not make any sense. I love these people. But um, Winston had a great outstanding character. Uh, and Fallon, I'm glad, thank, bless her soul, found out. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the sneakiest, one of the most sneakiest moments of this show was when Brandon did not tell Jabril. Jabril had, uh, Jabril, uh, didn't, Brandon didn't tell Jabril he said with Rob. But Jabril found out, okay? But what Jabril was waiting for was for Brandon to fess up and man up and tell him the truth that he did sleep with Rob. You know, that he slept with Rob. You know, he didn't want to hold no more secrets. I don't know if Jab I don't know if Jabril has still got something. If he's still trying to plan something. Uh, he's talking about some. He got a surprise for uh, them at the wedding. So the wedding is still on. So, uh, uh, I can't wait to see everyone. I can't wait to see your face. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Because you never know with Jabril. Jabril can be sneaky. It's one of the things I like about Jabril. You never know if Jabril is doing something for the good. Or if he's doing something on the side to destroy your black ass. Okay. So, I don't know. Brandon, I'm just saying you better watch out. But I love Brandon. Y'all know Brandon is my favorite. 
you know, uh, I, I kind of kind of put myself in Brandon's shoes in certain situations, college, you know, uh, you know, just other things. He's very ambitious. Uh, he's because he's been one of my favorite characters since season one. You all know this. Fallon, uh, uh, Christina Porter is just amazing. Y'all don't understand the much the, the she is the most outstanding actor on this show. I'm loving my girl, um, Raven. Okay. Speaking of, we finally get to the bottom that Fallon really is uh, the mother of Raven, okay? Uh, what I do like on this last episode, Crescendo, okay, is that I finally seen that them, I finally was glad to see them two make amends, okay? They made amends, you know, it was a little rough at first. I, I thought it was going to go for the worse, but it, it turned out to be a little better. I think I seen the fact that Raven, it really does kind of sort of have a bit of a smile on her face now that she has finally got a chance to really know who her mother is, you know. Uh, so I'm hoping that they, their relationship grows. I'm glad that we finally get to the bottom of that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go back a little bit. We finally meet up. Uh, we finally find out about Adonis. Okay, the 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 one name that Mason has been saying since season one when Ronnie was here. Speaking of, we find out that Ronnie, Mason finds out that Ronnie is is back and she's alive. But okay, it's a but with that. I'm gonna go back to that. But we find out about Adonis. We meet who he is. Adonis seems to be, you know, he's a, he seems to be a little. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe his character right now. He's new, but we finally meet him, and he's he's he wants to go back to go wants to go back with Mason. Push comes to shove. Mason is not with Jesus anymore. Jesus, it's just not. It's I'm gonna tell y'all something. The business that Jesus is in, he he has to take his father's role, Victor, which I don't think that that's a good fit because Jesus is such a young and, 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 and ambitious person, but for when he was too young for Mason, Mason needs somebody that's a little bit more mature. Okay, no shade. I do love Jesus. That's my guy. Okay, but you know, his 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 aunt has his back, and hopefully it, nothing don't come between them, but you just never know a triangle. But I do love, however, the fact that Aunt Vicky, Victoria DeLuca, uh, is, she's the most dangerous character on this show right now, okay? She's worse than Victor, okay? When she killed her own brother, I just was not agreeing with that, but you know what? We don't have Victor. Victor was the that was the was the uh vindictive one, you know, at the at the beginning of the triangle on season 1, but it it it's it turned another leaf. We got Victoria DeLuca. Now, after we get into this situation. Now, I, I got a very, very funny suspicion that I don't know who... Now, now the, oh, speaking of Victoria, we find out that Victoria has slept with a black... She has a son. Now, see, this is, this is just too much going on right now. It's too much going on right now. Apparently, her baby's father is black. And... I don't know who is, but I, 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 I remember the name Neil Roberts. I remember the name Neil Roberts. When Ashton was finding out about, um, Ashton was finding out, was looking up, finding out about adoption. And when she was finding out, I mean, when Ashton was finding out about, uh, Derek's parents, you know, we found out the father was named Neil. So I, I'm, I don't know why, but Derek is probably Victoria's child. Okay. This is what I don't know, but I'm still a little confused because now that we found out that Victoria has a child and Jesus has a cousin, we find out that Fallon has a son. Okay, from day one, when 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 Jabril found that uh, that that Fallon had two children, okay, I was saying I think that Derek was I was saying and I had a deep suspicion that Derek was the 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 other child. I don't really know. It's a little clouded right now because now I have another funny suspicion. Now all of a sudden that why does it seem like that now that I don't know I don't know. This is just. Well, my turn is do what I actually do. <laughs> I guess I can do it. Anywho, I can't wait to be stopped playing this writer. It's gonna be fab. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be all in the newspaper, in the magazine. Like, I took a look. Don't.
This is the same person that wants to have her mother's engagement party. It's just you just never know what to expect from Triangle, okay? It's been a journey, okay? It's been a journey. And we are, I, 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 to, to, to wrap everything up with, 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 with what I'm thinking about, what's going on. Okay, we finally meet uh, Corin, Corin, Corin or Corin. Okay, on the last, on Crescendo, when you see the episode, we finally meet Corin. Jabril and Jarrell's mother, okay. Now we finally meet her. She's a she seems like she's a um a shade thrower, okay. I don't know who she is, but you know it's always gotta be an ant surprise at these damn finales, you know. So we finally meet her. We see who she is. She's a she seems like she's gonna be a tough cookie to deal with. I'm just gonna tell y'all. She seems kind of weird. Uh, uh Jarrell doesn't seem too happy to see her, you know, uh uh um, um skipping a little further, probably, but uh to talk, but I I I I'm you know, I get all over the place with Triangle because this is so much exciting stuff on this show. I hope I'm explaining everything in the right way. I should be. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But this is the wrap up. Okay, I'm, I just get, I just turned to a ball. Now, the, 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 the biggest T really... on the last episode of Crescendo, one of the biggest moments T that shocked the hell out of me. And, and, and it's so weird. It's so, it's, it, it's, a, it's, it's like another fucking Crescendo. It's like a Crescendo for real. Okay. Baron could possibly be homosexual. Okay. We don't know. He got it. Might have a little. He might be. You know. Uh, okay. He was talking all the stuff about Jabril not as being not accepting Jabril sexuality, but Baron probably is. Baby, we find him in a bed with Derek. Mm. <coughs> I just I can't in my Kika voice. I can't. But anyway, we I just don't know. Now see what had happened was. This is what had happened. This is how we find out about Baron's little secret with his little freaky ass, okay? We found out that, okay, Tessa comes strolling in and she sees that, and, 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 and that, 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 that Baron is sleeping with Derek. Now, see, this is the weird part is because what if, see, I don't know about the situation about Fallon's child because what if Fallon's child really is Derek and what if this is just so nasty to think about this, but you know what? D Derek up with his fucking granddaddy. I'm just saying, ew. But, you know, what if it could still be a possibility that Derek is Fallon's child? Because apparently Jabril knows who the child is, but he's just not. What is, what's happening is he's not chilling. But anyway, Tessa was going to give him a peace offer, baby. Tessa was going to get Baron a little piece of her mind and say, baby, come get this money real quick. You know, but now, in order for uh, Tessa to keep her mouth shut, hmm, guess what? Baron got to pay her a little extra moolah, a little extra cash, a little extra shebang, okay? Because... You know, Baron got a little secret of his own. You know, it could be a homosexual tendency that got off on Jabril. You know, this is what I'm saying. I, you know, I knew it was something a little weird about Baron anyway. No shade. No shade all T. But for real, okay? It's a little something shady about him anyway. But anyway, that's one. That's another big moment. Okay, a good moment is that um, Winston and Fallon are going to open up their own... Um company in DC. I can't wait to see that, but I'm hoping we still get to see Fallon. I know Fallon's gonna be on season three. Come on now, y'all ain't gonna take my girl off. She gonna be back and forth. Okay, now that Jabril has finally told Fallon that she has another child, she said it seemed like some feelings was gonna be caught right back up with Tessa, but Tessa has done so much shit. And she seems like she's trying to mend their relationship. When I seen the, the uh, second episode of Davenport Diaries, uh, 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 the, the, the um, Davenport Diaries you know, that was more like an intervention episode of Claudia. We seen that. We see that Tessa finally had a mother-daughter moment with Fallon. I was so happy to see that. That was just, this just really, really brought joy to my heart. You know, um, it's just so much other exciting things. Now, Adonis is back in Mason's life, okay? Okay, Mason is not accepting of Adonis right now. He doesn't understand why Adonis left him for two years. Uh, and, and, and they're not trying to come back and make it seem like everything is okay. You're damn right. 
You're damn right, okay? Now, we fooled out. Now, I'm finna to get back into Ronnie and Clint. I always kind of fucking knew it was it was a resemblance. I'm not going to know shit. I'm not trying to be funny. But when you really, really think about it, okay, you think about Kiko's mother, Tammy, and you think about... Uh, you think about Ronnie, okay? How in the hell does... It, it, everything just makes sense about why, how, how all of a sudden we finally see that Ronnie and Clint are brother and sister, okay? Because they both kind of vindictive. And they, on this last scene, it was vindictive. What I don't understand is, how the hell do they have Jabril Jr.? Okay, they have JJ. I don't know if Victor gave it. I don't know if I don't know how this happened. But I know one thing: Mason and Ronnie are not on good terms right now. Mason is not going to break up the fact that he knows that Ronnie is alive. Well, I, 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 I do want to see Brandon and Mason be back friends again. They, this just cannot go on. Brandon, you need to just stop being so stubborn and accept Mason's apology. He didn't know, nigga. He didn't know, okay? You're going to have to get out your feelings with this, bro. Okay? And get it, get y'all shit together and be back being friends because y'all y'all my rock. Okay? Like Kiko said, y'all like Destiny's Child. Okay? One of y'all was Beyonce. One of y'all was Kelly. One of y'all Michelle. But, hey, y'all have to get y'all shit together. Okay? Get it together. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all been through too much for too long. But I think that if if shit really hits the fan, if Mason was to ever tell him that Ronnie is still alive, shit will go down for future references. Future references. Okay. It's it, 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 it's getting ready to be a butterball. It's getting ready to be a fucking roller coaster for season three. Um, uh, the stakes are high. We need a a new a a, a new a new ugh a new feisty young thing named Coco. Okay, so we meet Coco. She is the the person a part of this new program that Derek was that Derek is in. The the uh model who you know who, who was uh what was his name? Uh Pleasure. The one who Clint oh I mean I'm sorry, the one who Winston slept with at the the very first episode. So, you know, it was it was a lot of stuff going on. He was basically asking Derek to be a prostitute. You know, he interviewed Derek, something like that. And Derek didn't accept it at first. And I don't understand how he knew that uh, uh, Derek was going to take his, uh, his, uh, take his, take some thought. But I, you know what? I don't know. Because now that the, the boy is with Clint now. But anyway, I, I that, 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 this is going to be a wild roller coaster. Now, this new Coco, she ain't ready to be something different now. She ain't ready to be something feisty. What I am upset is, how the hell I'm not seeing my girl, um, Kat? Well, it's just like we're not seeing her no more. I don't know what's going on. We need to bring Kat back and see more, uh, find out more about Kat, uh, for season three, for future references, for future references. Okay, um... Kiko is amazing. She's the most creative person. I give her she had the best wardrobe. You know, she was the best the best comedy on this show. I would give her the baton for being best comedy, for being best comical, because she is hilarious. Uh just one of the best I just got so much words for her. I love her so much. She knows all these people know I post day well, pretty much practically daily on there on the Triangle Web series uh like page. I post like you know, what I think about the episodes, I kind of spill a little tea for people who didn't see the episode a little bit. And I just kind of go the fuck off on Triangle, as y'all see, okay? But, um, I, I don't know what, it, what, what, what the hell to expect for season three, but wow. Fallon does not know that Clint. Is 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 the is the father of Kiko? See, this is this is gonna be some crazy shit going on in season three. When I got a feeling Clint gonna come back to East, and he talking about he him and Ronnie leaving. I don't know how true that is. I know Ronnie gonna come back eventually. Uh, and, and you know, it's just that I don't know how everything. I just hope that Brandon and Mason's relationship get back together. You know, they are best friends. They've been through everything. I just, I just, it's just so much going on with that. They need to get their shit together, for real. Um, I really hope Raven and Fallon have a great relationship for future references. Okay, uh, amazing. Um, 
I don't know. I, I'm feeling a little sympathy for Victoria. Even though I don't like that she killed Vic Victor. I am, you know, we don't know who her child is. I didn't know this, that she slept with a black guy. Had, you know, I was kind of thinking that she was racist too. But, you know, maybe I kind of got a different outcome, a new outcome, and a newfound sympathy for Victoria. Because she's a tough cookie. Okay. Now, this Corin. She's weird. I don't know. Question mark with her. She's kind of awkward. But we we gonna find out about her on season three. She's in Easton though, so I guess we got another another big one. We got another big one to deal with. Cause that corn looked like she's uh up to up to some mischief. Okay. Now the Baron and slept with so many women, and you know, uh, it's it's crazy that Baron could possibly be gay. Or bisexual, or I, I don't know. The Baron is a little orthodox himself. It's just, it's just so much. You gotta, you got to love. You gotta watch this show. You know, even if you are a new Triangle fan, you have got to check out season one and season two. Please, um, make sure you subscribe to BRTB TV. You you guys are going to love it. All the newcomers, all the new Triangle fans, but I'm sure everyone around the world is getting them some Triangle. Now, the 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 the, the surprise shock at the end of the episode, and I kind of had a feeling that Ashton was still alive. So, I don't know what the situation when Winston buried Ashton. I don't know if Clint took Ashton out and put him in... I guess that Ashton really didn't die, so Ashton is still alive. But I don't know what, I don't know if Clinton's going to keep Ashton hitting from people. I don't know what's going to happen, but Ashton is alive. Because <laughs> I almost thought we was going to lose Ashton. So that is, a, that is a surprise right there. Because it's getting ready to be, it's getting ready to be a wild ride. This is getting ready to be some crazy shit going on for season three. I can't wait! But anyway, I'm hearing it. Season 3 starts in the fall, so you guys know. You better subscribe. You do your $9.99 a month. Uh, do do your ten ninety five or ten eighty something for an episode, or uh, just do your sixty the sixty a year, fifty a year. Cause I did the fifty a year, so I gotta be paying fifty dollars next year. Hopefully, I be having enough money and save up, and hopefully, I get another job soon. I think I will, but. Push comes to shove. I am looking forward. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to see if I left anything out because it's some more important details. I, I think I should should bring up about Triangle or um uh best powerful female role. Okay, I'm gonna just get these batons out. <laughs> if I had to be at an award show, you know what I'm saying? Best love romance. I would give it to uh. Brandon and Jabril because they had the best relationship, best relationship on the show. And if I had to get best powerful female actress, it would be Christina Davenport. Okay, that's my baby. She know I love her. Best male um powerful role would be Winston. It would have to go to my boy uh Winston. Okay, um, uh best newcomer would have to be Raven. Okay, you know, I do love Jarrell, but Raven is, is is another little tough cookie. Okay, best comedian will be Kiko because she is hilarious. Best shade thrower and and, and uh, uh, best shade thrower will go to Mason because he, he, he comes with some shade for real. Okay, I just got so much batons to, to throw out. Uh, best weirdest character. Oof. I don't know. That's a different one right there. Best weirdest character. The most weirdest character on this season. I would have to say Baron. He was the most oddest character. You know, while we, we found out a little bit about his tea, I would say he was the weirdest character on the show. You know, that now we finally met uh Father Fallon and and and, and uh Father Jabril, okay. But now everything makes sense. Now everything makes sense. Uh the best criminal will go to Clint. Because this this mother got, this boy got so much triangles, it don't make no sense. Oh my God, Kiko is, the, 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 he doesn't even know that Kiko is, and I'm sure Ronnie, you know, uh, uh, knew the whole time and didn't tell Kiko. This is, this is, this is, this is the crazy part. Kiko never met her father and Ronnie knew the whole time. That's her fucking brother. 
I like I can't I just bit wait a minute now. That that that's a surprise. He done slept this, this, this oh surprise. They 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 know how to fucking get me. They know how to get me. Um I would say the mo the episode that brought me the most tears apart from um Oh, apart from when Ash and I, it, it would be my brother's keeper. I was I was turning into something because that that really really hurt me. Uh, when Ashton died on on uh, one of them, uh, when Ashton well when Ashton was supposedly dead but didn't die, he's still alive. Thank you, Lord. We will be seeing him. He's back. I can't wait to see my Ashton again. He know I'm. Mean, he know he one of my faves. Um, I just get so much words for these people. They don't even know. I don't know how long I spent on this review. This is probably an hour-long review. I just got so many good moments. So many, you know, uh, 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 moments that got me out my seat. I can just talk about them all. I want to go on and on and on. We finally met Adonis. Finally, uh, 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 Mason been talking about him the whole damn se uh, two seasons. Finally seeing him. We, he got that out of his chest. We know who, made, who, we know who Adonis is. About damn time. I ne we one thing one person I we have never met and they've always talked about was Deborah. Who the hell is Deborah? Is a uh, that's still a character that's unknown that they talked about on season one and never really brought back up on season two. But we I don't know. There's something a little fishy about that too. I don't know. But I never really seen her before. I think they showed her footage or something. I I hope Eve is okay. That's my girl. I don't know where she's at. Man, wow, what, what a ride, what a ride it has been. This show is unstoppable. It's the best right now, right along with About Him. That's another one of my new favorites. But guys, I I, I, got, I got so much diehard respect. If I could audition, I would want to know how I can audition. I'm sure I done probably missed all the auditions, but since I'm out of work and unemployed, if y'all have any auditions coming up, I will gladly, gladly send a demo or something. Because I just need, you know what, I would love to be a part of Triangle, but we don't know. But I just, I, I, get, I just got so much respect for the show. It's just one of my favorites. I, I, I think about it every day. I watch it every day. I'm, on, I'm constantly on BRTB TV, VHR. I am just, Caesar. Carlos, Kenyon, y'all keep up the good work. I think I just about tied up what the hell I thought about season two. I don't know if I talked about every single thing, but the most important details and the most important um, episode was the last episode. They really just, this is the wrap up pretty much. This is the, the second leg review. The most longest review I probably ever did. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm, I got a lot of editing to do. It's hot up in here. I, I just needed a piece, a, a quiet, a, a quiet area where I could talk about it because, you know, it's, it be, it's a lot going on, but, woo! Triangle season two. Amazing. You guys did an amazing job. I hope I did a great job talking about everything. Ugh, forgive me if I didn't, but. It's gonna be a wow ride for season three. I can't wait. Love y'all. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Come on, you at the right place. Go ahead, Kiko. I heard so much about you. Come on in. Um, my name's not Trisha. It's Tessa. Yeah, of course. If I was in school, then you could correct me. Anywho, who are you? <laughs> I'm Kiko, Brandon's best friend. I, want you to know. I heard so much about you. Really? Yes, I like your style. Yes, so much. Mm. You have great taste together. Good taste. I realize Walmart was selling designer these days. <laughs> bitch, what did you have, bitch? Did you just call me a bitch? <laughs> Do you want to run that by me one more time? Oh, you know what? Where is Jacob? Anyway, yeah, you lucky. <laughs> I'm with my steps. She's like, um, the retro barber is here. Hello. Come in here. Because she don't know me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, never put my house. I'm just saying. Uh,